So for this problem, I'm given a function that I want to integrate over an iterated region. And I'm asked to calculate it in whatever coordinates seem to be the most convenient. So I already have them in x, y, and z. But I don't really like those square roots that I have for the y bounds. So I'm going to project these boundaries into the xy plane so I can get a better picture of what's going on. So the square root of 9 minus x squared makes us half circle with radius 3 in the positive x direction, oh, positive y. And then the negative square root of 9 minus x squared makes the other half of that circle. So I know I have some sort of tube that's coming up. Now let me go ahead and project into the x and z plane and see what I've got. So for x, I'm going from negative 3 to 3 which is the sides of that circle. And then z goes from 0 to 5. So I have a circle base that rises just 5 units up. So I'm looking at a cylinder. So what better coordinate system to use than cylindrical coordinates? So for cylindrical coordinates, I have theta, r, and z. So my z bounds from 0 to 5 aren't going to change. Next, let's think about r. We had that circle that's the base of our cylinder of radius 3. So r goes from 0 to 3. And then we want to think about theta. So we have a whole circle. That means that our angle goes all the way around. So theta is going to be from 0 to 2 pi. So let me go ahead and write, rewrite the integral of this region. And my function here is just 1, so that's not going to change or anything. And then remember, dv in, sphere, ugh, in cylindrical coordinates is r dz dr d theta. So I have d theta, dr, dz. So I'm integrating r with respect to theta. That's just going to give me r theta. And I'm going to evaluate that from theta equals 0 to theta equals 2 pi. So when I plug in 2 pi, I'm going to get 2 pi r. And when I plug in 0 for theta, I'm just going to get 0. So now I want to integrate 2 pi r with respect to r. Pi is just acting like a constant, so the integral of 2r is going to be r squared. And I want to evaluate from r equals 0 to r equals 3. So when I plug in 3 for r, I'm going to get 9 pi. And when I plug in 0 for r, I'm just going to get 0. So now I'm just left to integrate 9 pi with respect to z. 9 pi is just a constant, so I'm going to get 9 pi z. And I'm going to integrate, I'm going to evaluate from z equals 0 to z equals 5. So when I plug in 5 for z, I'm going to get 45 pi. And when I plug in 0 for z, I'm just going to get 0. So 45 pi is my answer. And we have a way to check this.
Since I have a cylinder, and I'm just integrating one, so pretty much I'm just finding the volume, I can use the equation we know for a volume of a cylinder from eighth grade geometry to check our answer. So V equals pi R squared H. So we know Z goes from 0 to 5, so the height of our cylinder is going to be 5. We know radius went from 0 to 3, so plug in the 3 for radius. 9 times 5, 45 pi. So our integral worked, and we got the right answer.